you doing guys? So we're gonna do the seven sins of wet shaving. Uh, KJ was nice enough to start the thread up, so we're gonna go through, I'm gonna go through my seven sins of wet shaving. So first up is greed, and that is my most expensive, least expensive product. Um, so least expensive, I'm not gonna go into the blades because those are obviously the least expensive uh, thing that we can get, uh, but as far as product that we use, Arco. I actually enjoy using this. Um, I piffed out two of these. Um, it's a great starter soap. It, it's good functioning. Uh, it's a little on the drying side, but um, no more so than the expensive product that I have, and that is MDC, Martin de Condre. Um, this is the original, uh, the lavender scent. Um, I picked this up at the Sumor auction in 2016. Um, paid a little bit over the odds for it, uh, but it was my first uh, first tub of Martin. So uh, that's my most expensive soap. Uh, my most expensive item in the in the den is my Jerry Stark, um, and yeah, this is this is just a fundraiser to use. Um, and uh, yeah, paid paid decent amount of money for that. Uh, not as much as some people do, but uh, a good amount. Uh, going on to number two, Wrath. What product do I love to hate? Uh, this could have gone a couple different ways, but in the end, it boils down to one and one only. That's got to be the fat. You know, I, I'm, I'm probably one out of five, one out of ten for lathering this soap. Uh, when you get it right, it's awesome. Um, I just have the darndest time getting a good lather out of this soap. But I keep it around because I know it's capable of some good stuff. Uh, number three is gluttony. Uh, what's what's the most delicious that I have? So I'm going with soaps on this one. Uh, first one is going to be Victory Shaving uh, Company, uh, Lady Champagne, or Champagne Lady, I should say. Um, to me, this smells like pink lemonade. It just brings me back to my childhood going to the, the fair and the fresh squeezed lemonade. They throw a little pink sugar in there and then make a pink lemonade. That's that's what that smells like. And then the other one is Melonade by Oleo Soapworks. Uh, and this, if you didn't see my review, smells almost identical to a watermelon Jolly Rancher with a hint of sour in there. Uh, so that's that's a uh, gluttony for me. Uh, sloth. Product on neglect. Product on neglect, neglect is the very first razor that I got. And that's the McClure Futur. Um, this thing is just ultra aggressive. <laughs> There's no two ways around it. It's very aggressive. Um, I, 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 you know, my timeless bronze is probably has a lot more blade feel than this, but there's no other razor that has given me worse bites than this. Number one, my technique's probably improved, but I have so many other razors that I enjoy using. Uh, I just never turn to this, even though it is a very good shaver, very efficient. So that's gluttony number four, or sloth number four, pride. Um, that was a pretty easy one for me as well. Um, and that's got to be my rag Napoleon. Um, this was actually gifted to me um, by Dan. And uh, yeah, this uh, this came from the rag estate, personal, uh, personal estate. Uh, when I received it, it had two shaves on it, maybe one. Uh, no, it had two shaves on it. Um, I've since put seven shaves on it. Um, it's a really good shaver um, and it's in phenomenal condition. Uh, but this is this is the one I'm most proud of. Um, little insert here. I forgot to do this when I was when I was filming. Uh, but for Pride, the other piece that I'm extremely proud of is my Paladin um, El Dorado. This is the manic depression brush that I won for the Jimi Hendrix. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they were honoring Jimi Hendrix uh, for the 50th anniversary of the Purple Haze album being released. Um, and they did some raffles for a couple limited edition brushes, i.e. one-offs. 
um, and I was lucky, really lucky enough uh, to be chosen for this brush. Um, I love the knot. It's, I mean, it's Paladin, so it's a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Uh, but this is the other one that I uh, that I'm very proud of. So that's number five, Pride, Lust. What do I want? There's a couple things. Um, there's a couple razors I'm looking at. Corad, of course. Um, Brian Brown. Uh, but the big one right now is I'm looking at a Weeboard brush. I'm waiting for them to to come back in stock. Um, the other one is a Morris, a, a new Morris and Fondren uh, Blonde Badger, and those have been out of stock for a little while. Um, I'm gonna message. I'm thinking of messaging uh, them up and seeing if they're ever gonna be back in stock. If not, I might have to settle for their two band. Um, but that's that's uh, that's my lust. That's what I want. Uh, so that's number six. And then the last one, Envy. Who do I envy? You know, I'm, I'm, I've been pretty lucky that I've been able to, to get all of my purchases. Um, and so I really don't particularly envy somebody or anybody in particular. Um, there are some people out there with some absolutely beautiful razors and some wonderful soap collections. Uh, Dave and Chad, I'm looking at you. And, uh, but... I don't really envy so much as 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 I look and, and, and can appreciate how, how nice some of these collections are, whether they're soaps or razors or what have you, uh, fragrance collections. So, um, yeah, so that's my seven sins of wet shaving. Um, if you guys are just finding me, uh, this is the, this is done for the uh, the shaving cadre. Come come visit us at uh, www.theshavingcadre.com. Hope to see you there over at TSC, and I'll catch you later.